Hi, welcome to another video. In the last video, we have looked at how you can set up IPsec side to side VPN between two Microtech devices, and it was successful. In this video, we are going to see how we can achieve the same side to side VPN setup between Microtech and PFSense firewall. We are going to work on this setup where we have a PFSense firewall at the HQ branch that has a subnet of 10.1.1.0/24. We call it branch one. And similarly on the remote branch, we have a Microtech router and that has a subnet of 10.2.2.0/24. At this moment, these branches can talk to the internet but not between them. Let's test that out. And if you prefer to go step by step guide with the instructions, I recommend you check out my blog article which I will link in the description below. So let's start with the testing the connectivity from both sides. I'm logging into the Windows server that I have in branch 1 and try to ping remote branch IP in 10.1.1.0/24 subnet. Let me resize the phone so that you can see it better. All right. First, let's check the IP configuration by typing IP config on the Windows server. Great. I have an IP address 10.1.1.50 from 10.1.1.0/24 subnet and the default gateway that I have is 10.1.1.1 which is our PFSense firewall IP. Let me ping the gateway, ping 10.1.1.1. As you can see, we are able to get the response for the ping request, great. Which means the internal connectivity looks good. Let's try to ping something on the internet, ping www.google.com. As you can see, the ping towards the Google is working fine as well. Let me now try to ping remote branch, which is 10.2.2.21. Oops, not that, ping 10.2.2.1, uh, which is the Microtech uh, LAN interface. That would be the gateway for the remote branch. And you can see that we are getting request timeout. Let me also try to ping 10.2.2.50. It is timing out as well. Similarly, I have also ran a test on the branch 2 on the Linux PC that I have. And just like branch 1, only the local and the internet ping is working fine. However, remote branch subnet 10.1.1.50 still failing. That clearly indicates that we don't have connectivity to the remote branch. After the tunnel deployment on both sides, the IPs will respond to the ICMP request and that's what we are going to fix it in this video. So let's go ahead and configure the IPsec site to site VPN starting from branch 1 PFSense firewall. And once completed, we will set up the same configuration on the branch 2 Microtech router side as well. So log into the PFSense firewall. Let me first add the traffic graphs here so that I could see the real time traffic flows from the WAN and the LAN side, which is good for troubleshooting and seeing the bandwidth utilization of the PFSense firewall. On the dashboard, click on the plus icon and add traffic graphs. As soon as I added that, you could see that the WAN and LAN real time traffic graphs displayed over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me also add IPsec traffic. So click on the plus icon on the top right, uh, this time choose IPsec traffic. Now you can see that the widget is complaining that there is no IPsec tunnels, which is fine. Once we configure the IPsec tunnel, we will be able to see the real time traffic flows on the IPsec uh, widget. To configure the IPsec tunnel in PFSense, go to VPN and then IPsec. The IPsec configuration screen appears. In PFSense, the IPsec tunnel configuration goes in this order. First, you will configure the phase 1 and then to the phase 2. And in the PFSense, you cannot configure phase 2 without phase 1. All right. You should always configure the phase 1 and then proceed with the phase 2. So on the tunnels tab, under IPsec tunnels, click on add P1, which means add phase 1. In the phase 1 configuration, add the following, add a descriptive name. Um, you should be able to recognize the site by looking at the tunnel because when you keep on adding multiple tunnels, it may tend to get confusing. You, it would be little difficult for you to identify what tunnel goes to where. So it is best to give a user-friendly name. With just a name, you should be able to recognize what branch it is connecting into. So in general information, I am adding the tunnel name. Uh, I am naming it like branch 01 IPsec tunnel. I could name branch 02, then I would know it is connecting to branch 02, but just for the sake of this lab, I'll just name it like branch 01 IPsec tunnel. In the key endpoint configuration, I'll leave the key exchange version as IKV2, which is nothing but ISACAMP version 2. 
pv4 and the interface the van that's where you are starting the phase one traffic in the remote gateway into the microtech router public ip 2.2.2.2 in the phase one proposal leave the authentication method as mutual psk uh, leave my identifier and peer identifier as default as we have selected the pre-shared key as authentication, we are going to enter pre-shared key here. Interestingly, in PFSense, it provides inbuilt PSK generator. So you just have to click on generate new pre-shared key, which will then generate a strong pre-shared key for you. You could just simply copy and paste the pre-shared key on the Microtech side once you have them. So I would recommend this option on the production network since it is a lab. I'm going to just manually type the pre-shared key of my choice. In the phase one proposal, choose encryption algorithm as AES-256 and uh, SHA-256 and DH group 14. You can add multiple choices as you like. However, for better security, it is best to choose one set of algorithms. All right. Now leave everything else default and then click on save and apply the changes. Now you have an option to add phase two parameters of the IPsec tunnel. So under phase one, click on show phase two entries which is empty at the moment. So click on add P2 to add new phase two parameters. Under general information, add a descriptive name, or for example, branch one phase two. In the network, choose LAN subnet. If you are planning to send some other IPs, which is behind the PFSense firewall, you may choose network and then type the subnet here. However, in my case, I'm advertising my PFSense local LAN subnet. So in the remote network, choose network from the type uh, dropdown and on the address field and 10.2.2.0 slash 24, which is the Microtech remote LAN. In the phase two proposal, leave protocol as ESP, encryption algorithm as AES-256, hash algorithm as SHA-256, PFS group 14, Leave everything else default and then click on save and apply the changes. If you now expand the show phase two entries, you can now see the newly added phase two entries here. Great. The tunnel of course will be down right now because we have not configured the remote side of the Microduct device. So you can check the status of the tunnel by going into uh, status IPsec and PFSense. Uh, as you can see, the IPsec tunnel is now down. We have to do one more configuration before we proceed with the remote branch. So we configured IPsec. But when I am receiving the traffic from the Microtech, by default, the PFSense would be blocked. I could send this traffic out, but the incoming traffic will be blocked. You have to allow the 10.2.2.0/24 subnet to be able to talk to the PFSense LAN side. So go to Firewall and Rules. Click on the IPsec tab. This is where you control the IPsec traffic. Click on add button to create new policy. In the policy configuration screen, choose the action pass. In the protocol, choose any. In the source, choose a network from the dropdown and enter the Microtech branch subnet, which is 10.2.2.0 slash 24. In the destination, choose the LAN subnet. Choose log packets that are handled by this rule and then click on save and apply changes. We have completed the PFSense IPsec configuration. Let's now go ahead and configure the Microtech side as well. So log into the Microtech router. I'm using the Winbox to manage the router. If you cannot use a Winbox for some reason, I would recommend you to use HTTP or HTTPS to access the Microtech router for the management. Once you're logged in, go to IP, IPsec, the IPsec configuration window now appears. The phase one of the IPsec consists of the following in the Microtech, which is profile, peers, identities, and the phase two consists of proposals and the policies. So let's start with the IPsec configuration, starting from profile. So in the profiles tab, click on the plus icon to add new profile, enter the name something like branch zero to profile, hash algorithm as SHA-256, in the encryption algorithm, unselect in the other option and choose AES-256 and the DH group would be mode P2048, which is equivalent to the group 14. Uncheck the NAT traversal option as my Microtech router is not behind the NAT and then click on OK. Now let's go ahead and configure the peer. Uh, so click on peers tab and then click on the plus icon to add new peer. In the peer configuration, enter the name of your choice. 
in the address and the pfSense fan side IP which is 1.1.1.1 in real network it will be just a public IP choose the profile that we just defined and exchange mode as IKV2 we are not selecting the passive mode as traffic initiator from both both the sides I'm choosing the send initial contact option here and then click on OK now towards the identities tab click on the plus icon to add new identity this is where we tell the Microtech router to choose pre-shared key as authentication for phase one and choose the peer which we defined uh, choose authentication method as pre-shared key and the secret key that we define in the PSNS firewall and click on OK. Now click on the proposals tab and click on the plus icon to add new proposal. In the proposal configuration add the name or uh, choose a SHA-256 as authentication algorithm encryption algorithm as AS-256 CBC PFS group as 2048 which is group 14 and then click on OK. Now click on the policies tab and then click on the plus icon to add new policies. This is where we are going to define the phase 2 subnet details for the tunnel. In the general tab choose the peer that we defined. Check the tunnel option under the source IP as 10.2.2.0/24 destination subnet as 10.1.1.0/24. You may now click on the action under proposal choose the proposal that we defined and then click on OK. We have completed the phase 2 configuration and as you can see the phase 2 of the tunnel already in established state which means both the phase 1 and the phase 2 is up. If there is no phase 1 and the phase 2 will never get established. Like we did in the PFSense we have to now configure the policy for the IPsec traffic. Unlike other vendors we have to add the NAT policy in the IPsec configuration as opposed to the security policy. Click on IP and firewall. In the firewall configuration click on NAT. I have a default NAT policy for the internet access which is fine. You are going to create a new NAT policy specifically for the IPsec. Click on the plus icon to add new one. In the new NAT rule under general tab choose the chain as source NAT. In the source address enter the address as um, 10.2.2.0/24 and in the destination address enter 10.1.1.0/24. Click on the action tab and in the action drop down choose accept and check the log option if you want to see the logs in the future and then click on ok you will see the newly created policy at the bottom move the policy to the top just like that and that's it we have now completed the ipsec configuration on both branch 1 pfsense side and also on the branch 2 microtech side as well let's now check the status of the ipsec tunnel on the microtech side we have already seen the phase 2 status let me check the phase 1 in the ipsec window go to active peers uh, here we can see the status as established this is nothing but the phase one status on the pfsense go to status and ipsec and you can see the phase one of the pfsense as well is in established state if you want to see the phase two you can expand show child sa entries to see the phase two status and as you can see the phase two status now shows in established state as well so we have completed the configuration and it's time for us to test the traffic in the same windows server that i had let me open the command prompt choose the up arrow to initiate the ping again and you can see that we are not able to get the response before for the ping traffic however it is now working fine which means the ipsec side to side traffic is successful let me also try to access a microtech admin page open the browser and type 10.2.2.1 you can now manage the remote branch from the branch 1 which is the headquarters. To check the bidirectional traffic is flowing you could now log into the branch 2 and do the same test. I have reopened the Linux Ubuntu host. Let me log in. The ping that you see which is stuck that was initiated before. So it was using the previous session. Let me stop the session and start over again. So press ctrl C and let me start again and use app arrow. Hit enter and you can now see that ping between the branch 2 to branch 1 is working fine like we did in the branch 1 we can access a psn firewall management gui from branch 2 as well of course you can restrict this access with the help of firewall policies in the microtech or the pfsense side wherever you want to control the traffic now remember we added ipsec widget on the psense firewall dashboard if you go back and check now you can now see the ipsec traffic flowing as you can see on the screen it is now sending and receiving traffic that is great
And that's it in this video. We have successfully set up IP6 side to side VPN between PFSense firewall and the Microtech router. If you come across any issues, it is best to start troubleshooting the phase one and then towards the phase two. Majority of the issues would be resolved by fixing the parameters or the secret keys on the phase one. If you still have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.